Hello everybody, thank you for stopping by. It's Tuesday. I'm finally finished with my embroidery journal and I wanted to do a walkthrough. So I hope you're all doing well and having a wonderful week. I am. <laughs> um, so, um, here she is. <laughs> I'm really happy with her. I really enjoyed working with all of French Cottage Shabby's um, digitals. I had a really good time. And um, the little story behind this journal is this is a famous embroidery designer who traveled all over France and Europe selling her designs. And so um, this is Francois. And um, what I did was I um, printed her on cardstock. And here I just lightly chalked um, a little bit of pink in her hat but she's black and white. And then I used some gold foil, and then I put this netting. Um, it's a polka dot netting over the top. And this is a paper flower with a um, mother of pearl button. And then I just um, tied it together because she got, as you can see, she's gotten pretty chunky. <laughs> so anyway, let's begin. So um, I tied her, like I said, with a gold satin um, ribbon, and um, it comes off like this. Now, you can slide this right out if you so choose, okay? In here, I have a journaling card, if I can find it. And this is from her ballet collection. And I did gold foil around her as well. I don't know if it's showing up in the camera or not, but it's really pretty. And I backed everything with a pearlized, um, sort of like a cream pearlized um, cardstock. So that's her. And she slides right in here. And this was one of the girls that, um, Francois would do embroideries for and show all of her customers the different things that you know she could um, do for them. She was a very famous designer and sold a lot of her embroideries and um, fashion clothing primarily for children. So you open it up and I have a piece of mulberry paper here which is very fragile, but I love it. It's sort of like a lavender color. It looks kind of white in the um, in the camera, but it is very fragile, but I love it. And so over here, we have the other side of that paper bag, which is here, okay? But this flips open. And in here, I have a um, journaling card. And what I did on this card was I used gold rub and buff, okay? And I love this. I use it on anything. It's it's primarily for like frames or, oh, I have some right here. It's right here if you're interested. And this is the antique gold, but I love it. It does take time. You have to be very careful. And then um, once it's finished, you just go over it with like, you know, a soft cloth. I'll show you. When I do my frames, I do it the same way as I do my paper. You just go over it like this really well. Once it's dry completely and it buffs it. And that's what brings out that antique gold. Okay. So I just did the edges lightly. And as you can see, that really makes it shine nice. And I just put it in this little applique that I had, piece of applique pocket. And then in here is a tuck spot with a, one of the other children that she designed for. This is actually out of her ballet collection. And um, this is what she would show her customers, things that she could make. Okay, and I use the gold foil um, on her as well. 
and she slides right inside here. And I did size these down. And then in here, we have a little tag that goes with the embroidery kit. And this envelope was a freebie at Easter time, but it's on Daisy's um, Facebook site. If you're not with French Cottage Shabby Daisy on Facebook, she has a lot of freebies. She's very generous. And then I don't remember what kit this kind came from, so I'm not going to say right now, but I'll leave it in the description box below. I did size this page down for writing. Okay, and this has a lot of laces and fabrics. It's so soft and beautiful. So that just slides right back inside here. And then the mulberry paper. And then this is the first page of the embroidery, I think embroidery one. There's embroidery and embroidery one. And then this page. And I did make a mistake when I printed this page, so I cut out all these pieces and used them throughout the journal. This is just some music paper. This is just a little dangle I made with some um, laces and trims and some um, seam binding. And there's a little bluebird hanging from the charm there. I don't know if you can see it. I'll hold it up. But I'm, I love making these, and you can use them throughout the journal. You know, just unpin it. And... Why is that sticking up like that? <laughs> it's kind of funny. So there's, you know, all different laces. There's some vintage laces, some antique laces, and then a little piece of seam binding that I dyed. This is, I almost am out of it. I need to find some more because it's embroidered and I love it. So that's that. And then you turn the page. This was an envelope, but I wanted to use it for writing. This is one of my um, lace master boards. This is just before I cut it up, I scanned it. In here, this to me looked like sort of like a receipt. So I cut one of those little pieces that was a misprint and I stapled it to this receipt. And then this is out of one of my antique doll um, patterns from the 1860s. And I just put, it's um, by Trendle Threads, Trendle Tracks. So I stapled that onto the back of it for whoever gets this journal. I will be selling my journals on Kofi. If you're interested, just um, message me until I get my Kofi site set up. This is just another um, cabinet card, but I sized it down to make a little booklet out of it. You know, a little writing spot. I wanted to leave plenty of room for writing. This is a waxed envelope. And it's just got a couple of journaling cards and a postcard. Yeah. So this goes this way. Well, it doesn't matter. This one goes this way and this way. And they're sized down as well. And they're backed. And they slide right in here. And as you can see, you can see through it. Let me put one on each side. Once you wax it, you can see through the envelope, sort of. And then on this side, <clears throat> I have this um, paper pad. It's called um, Threads, but I don't have much of it left. So I made an altered paper clip. This is by, um, it's inspired by Gina from Fire Fly Studio 67. I'll leave her link in the description box below. She's doing a fabulous 101 um, with tags and all kinds of things. So um, this is just a little tag that you pull out the side and you can write a little quote or something on the back of that. And then I put some lace here. That's antique lace.
And then on this side is just a pair of little scissors, embroidery scissors, some thread, a bobbin. And that slides right inside here. And then there's a little tag with a mannequin. Okay. And then this is made with some scrap paper and this part here is an index card, three and a half by five index card. Get that bow up there, right? Oops. There we go. Oh. That's just embroidery floss. And then I just put a little button for the dangle here. So I thought the button was appropriate <laughs> for the journal. And that just slides onto the paper. Like so. And then this was another one that um, was out of that paper pad. It says, hey, handmade with love. This is just a journaling card that I, um, I think this is from one of her newer kits, but this is wax so you can see through it. Okay. And I backed it onto the um, card stock, the pearlized card stock. And as you can see, once you wax it, you can see through to the, you know, to what's behind it. Some music paper of daisies. In here, this was an envelope that Daisy had given as a freebie a long time ago. And I don't remember what kit it's from. And the needles and threads were out of that um, paper pad that I had. So I put in some vintage blue buttons. And then it had this card, which I had to cut down, but it's very sweet. And it's got a place for writing on the back. And then a spool of thread and a needle. And then this says, my soul is fed with needle and thread. So I made a little sewing basket out of it. But I just thought that was really cute. I, I was so happy I remembered I had that. It took me a long time to find it in my files, but I found it. And then, like I said, the needles and threads came off of that other um, paper pad. And then these buttons Daisy had found when she was out thrifting, and she scanned them. So what I did was um, I shrunk them down to 50%, and then I put some uh, glossy accents on them. And then I used gold rub and buff all around the edges with a Q-tip. <laughs> and then buffed them up once everything was dry. And then I sewed them on and I put buttons on the back. Oh, and this came off of an older vintage um, button card and it just says 29 cents. So I thought those came out really pretty. I love them. It was hard to choose because there's, um, let's see, six, I think there's nine total buttons. So I use those and those go right inside this pocket that comes with the embroidery kit. And then she also comes with the embroidery kit, just a little thread there. And then for the dangles, I just used little um, mother of pearl buttons here and here. But she is so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to put the thread down the middle, but it's okay. She looks fine. And then here is another music page. Um, this flips out so that you can have this all for writing. And then in here is just a little tag that came with that threads kit. It says sewing is life. Not threads kit, but the the um, paper pad, which I'll show you. And then I sewed this on with some gold embroidery um, floss. 
And on this page, it doesn't flip out. I kept that as a back pocket for these two tags. And I backed them with the pink polka dot. And then I put some um, seam binding. I dye my own seam binding. It did. Believe it or not, that came from the same bath, <laughs> the same dye. I don't know why the colors are so different. And I dry them outside, so it could be the sun. I'm not sure. And then this lifts up, and it's got another tag inside that just says, Love is the thread that binds us, which I thought was very cute. I put just a little um, grommet in there. And this is from one of our newer kits. I think it's the golden membership kit. I'm not positive. Another embroidery page. This is the um, avocado um, and lace paper. And then these are just, again, just these little snippets I love to make with um, different, um, you know, bits and pieces I have. I don't throw anything away because you can always use them. And then I just put this little rhinestone there. My lace masterboard before I cut it up. And here's just one of Daisy's envelopes. And, ah. Uh, and I just stamped on it with some gold um, archival ink. And it's on tea stain paper. And this is just a cabinet card, but I sized it down. So that's the back of the cabinet card. That's the front. And then a postcard. And that just slides right in here. Isn't she adorable? So sweet. But yeah, this, this woman was very, very famous and she would, you know, design primarily for children. In here is a postcard. And um, I waxed this. I don't know if you can see the polka dots through it, but it is, I can see them. I don't know if you can. And then on the back is just one of my um, die cuts that I put on the back, the gold die cut. Uh, one of the background pages from the embroidery kit. And that mulberry paper again, which I love, but it's just so fragile, but I love it. I mean, it's not real fragile because you can't tear it very very difficult to tear because it's got so many fibers in it I don't know if it's showing up in the camera but it's beautiful and then here in this pocket is a little um, envelope that I made I used some fabric and some lace and um, inside here is just um, a little journaling card and this looks like sort of a um, letter that she wrote to somebody um, for what is coming due, their bill, um, what's coming due to her for things that she had purchased. I mean, things that she sold them. And that slides right back inside the envelope. And then what I did was I backed it onto the fabric and then I stitched all the way around the fabric. I put the slit in first so that once I split, you know, sewed it all the way around and I reinforced it with some cardstock here and behind here as well. And then it just tucks underneath that little rose and slides back inside that pocket. And then we go to the second signature. And I've got this beautiful girl here. And I did some more gold foil. And then this 
slides out this way. It's just glued here and around because I wanted it to be able to slide in and out easily. This is a cabinet card, but I made a scrappy paper pad out of it. So you can write, you know, on the back or the front. I mean, you can't write on that, but you could write on that. You could write on the back of that. You can write on this and that and this. And that goes right inside here. Some more mulberry paper in pink. I'm so glad that I did the tissue paper. I think it looks so nice. It really looks pretty. And um, Daisy from French Cottage Shabby, she paints all of her um, paintings and then she digitizes them. This is just one of her blue papers another cabinet card but it's sized down and then another one that I did the um, gold foil on and I put a um, gold die cut and did some stenciling and this is some blue insertion uh, some insertion lace that has a little piece of blue ribbon that I put through it in there and then this is another one of those paper clips but I have a little thing that says um, I love sewing and scissors and then these are all Daisy's papers this is just um, I don't it's just a scrap I had it goes in there I know the backing is from her wallpaper kit I mean from her wallpaper she gave us a freebie and then the little bird there. And then here is the tag with the roses. And that's just embroidery floss right here. Music paper from one of the kits. One of our kids, I'm not sure which one. And this one is just a scrap I had, so I made a little journaling spot out of it. And that's on linen paper. And then this was a scrap as well, so I made a little tuck spot. This is the part that I embroidered on the paper. I think I did a video and showed how, to, how I was going to do it. I didn't do any of the flowers down here or up here because I didn't want to take away from all of this. I thought it would just be too busy. So I just embroidered this and then slow stitched it. It's not really embroidery. And here is the little book that I made, um, the little needle book. And I had it inside here, but the two of them together wouldn't fit inside. So I'll use this for something else on another project. But I love how this came out. So you just open it up. I collaged some of these pieces. It says New York Embroidery House. That's where she um, was her main base, but she traveled all over France and Europe. And then um, this is just a vintage quilt that I used for the pins and the thread. I used some um, sewing paper and then these are just some vintage and antique laces. Some more. And then another one of those pieces of embroidery trims. So pretty. And some fabric. And some lace. And then this is from an old sheet, a vintage sheet. But this is something you could definitely put in your purse, you know, or whatever. And then this is just a bunch of pieces, scraps. I fussy cut the flower from that other page because I misprinted it. And then I collaged the whole back of the card with those little pieces. And I made a little fabric card out of it. <clears throat> 
and the fabrics can come off very easily. All you need is a seam ripper because I use the longest thread. I mean the longest stitch. So as soon as you, and I didn't back stitch it, so as soon as you take that off, the fabrics can come off. And then it all just tucks neatly into here. I love this little book. I wanna make like a dozen more. And then I just tied it up. I always go around twice, it's easier to tie it. Especially if you're tying a bow. <laughs> And I put a little um, pink button there. And it slides right in here very nicely. I was surprised. It wouldn't fit, it didn't fit good with the, um, with the envelope, but it fit perfect with that. Parchment paper. This is another part of another kit. I think this is one of her newer kits from the Golden Membership Club. This is um, the center page of the second signature. And again, I just used some buttons for the little dangles. And then in here is a little postcard. And then in this pocket, it's another cabinet card, two of them, but I sized them down so that it could be writing, okay? cabinet card and it's back this is a very pale pink okay and I did go foil it all the way around I don't know if it's showing up in the camera and it just slides back there and here I have another scrap that I used for writing And this is another one of Daisy's envelopes. I just used the stamp from one of her kits. You open it up and it has a couple of little scraps in it from, I can't remember what these are called, but it's like a whole page and I love them. I use them in collaging. I use them for everything. So I put those inside there. And again, I stamped with the, um, Versa ink. If it wants to go in there. And then this was a stamp off of one of the pages and I just used it to keep the envelope closed. Like that. Isn't it pretty? So beautiful. I hope she gets to see this today. She's taking care of her grandma in France, so I don't know. It's getting late. Well, it's three o'clock, so, but it depends on what time this will go up. I have another paper clip over here, and I just have a little blank writing card. And then, um, let's see, that goes inside here. This was a postcard, but I used it to make the envelope, I mean to make the paper clip. And then there's another writing spot on this side. And it slides right inside there. And then the tag is right here. And you can make these with scraps. You don't even need, you know, a lot of paper. 
to make these. And I love them. So in here, I won't take the paper clip off. This um, was a flower I fussy cut out of one of Daisy's papers and it might be, it could be the wallpaper kit, I'm not sure. But I used a fabric pocket. And what I did was I put the fabric on and then I stitched all the way around it. But I only used a straight stitch here and here so that I could fit things into the pocket easily. And then I used a zigzag stitch and it's on two pieces of um, French book page. And then another one of those scraps, but I turned it into a little postcard. And this I waxed, that's why you can see through it. And on the back, we have a beautiful, um, this is waxed as well. And then it has another little tag in it from the embroidery kit. And then it slides right under the paper clip. You can take the paper clip off, but it slides better. I mean, it slides easy, so I don't, I don't keep taking it off. And I put just a little, um, it's like a spool of um, embroidery floss on that one. I didn't have any silver paper clips, so it's okay. <laughs> this is just a belly band I made out of one of her, um, from one of her newest kits. And this was a scrap, so I made a little journaling card out of it. This is one of those um, cards that came from the Threads um, 12 by 12 pack. It says keep calm and so on. And I'm almost at the end. This is the one that I did the slow stitch around after I waxed it. And then I backed it with that pearlized paper. It slides right in there. And then we are back at the beginning. And again, this slides through because I put it on some squares, you know, foam squares. So it slides right back through. Maybe. Well, I know it does, because I did it. <laughs> Where are you? I can feel it. There we go. And it ties up that way. So I'll just make sure it's even. And that is the end of my embroidery journal. Um, my embroidery slash fashion journal. <laughs> So that's embroidery kit one, uh, embroidery kit and embroidery kit one, and I'll leave the link to her website store and the link below, and also the information about the Golden Membership Club. Definitely check that out. It's worth taking a look at. Very safe, very secure, and um, yeah, so that is. Francois and her, what she does for a living. Did I do the back? I think I did. Yeah, I did. So that's her. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video. Until then, be kind, be sweet, be safe, and God bless. Love you all. Bye.